a man is walking and you want to reflect on what he is thinking. To do it, you can use the double explosion effect in Prima Pro. This technique allows you to superimpose one clip on another, creating a fascinating way of storytelling. The double exposure effect can add creativity and depth to widening and slideshow videos. Hey there and welcome to another Prima Pro tutorial. We have already added two video clips to the timeline and now we are gonna use double exposure effect. To make it work, we need the first clip's background to be flat and some color correction can help us achieve this. Start by selecting the video clip and opening the Lumetic color window from the window menu. Once it's open, you see the Lumetic color tab on the right side of the screen, ready for you to make adjustments. Once you are inside Lumetic color tab, select the basic correction section. Here you can adjust the saturation of the clip by moving the saturation slider. Typically, increase the saturation can make a clip appear more vibrant or eye-catching. But in our case, we want more muted or black and white look. To achieve this, we will need to decrease the saturation. White slider allows you to adjust the brightness of the lightest areas of a video clip. Increasing the white slider will make the brightest parts of the image even brighter, which can create a high contrast look. The black slider is one of the several tools available in the Lumetic color panel that allows you to adjust the brightness of the darkest parts of your video clip. Now you can put the black sliders to the left. Next we need to access the curves panel. Here you can see the master curve displayed as a stat white line, representing all the RGB channels at once. First create a contour point at the starting point of the line. Next add another contour point above it. To add highlights, drag this contour point towards the upper right area of the line. And to add shadows, drag this contour point towards the lower left area. This way we actually create an S cap, which increases the contrast and make the footage appear more vibrant in black and white. If I turn off the Lumetic color effect, you can see the original footage. Let's turn it back on. Now we can close the Lumetic color tab. This is our second footage. To create a double exposure effect, we need to drag the footage underneath the first video. If we play with the time indicator, we won't see any changes. Therefore, we need to select the upper layer of the video and go to the effect controls panel. Here we can adjust the blend mode by scrolling the mouse to set a perfect blend mode for our clip or right clicking and selecting a screen, which is one of the ideal blend modes for a double exposure effect. Now everything that is black in upper the video is transparent and revealing the underneath video. This time we need to zoom in on the video to show only the man. To do this, we go to the scroll options and increase its value. We also need to adjust the X and Y values of the position options to change the horizontal and vertical position of the video as required. Finally, we can see that our double exposure effect is complete. That is today's basic video effects tutorial in Premiere Pro. I hope it will be helpful for wedding and slideshow related videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.